Hi all, now I am going to explain you the most frequently asked question, what is LDAP authentication? To understand this, you should have a basic understanding on LDAP. LDAP stands for Lightweighted Directory Access Protocol. This protocol is predominantly used by applications for resource information lookup. Some of the examples of resources are employees, printers or a computer. Basically it could be anything. The only criteria we have to check in a resource before bringing it under LDAP is that there should be a lesser or rare write operation to database and we should have more read operations to the database. In fact LDAP is designed to support more read operations than write operations and this particular feature has made LDAP the most lightweighted protocol. The best example of such use case is storing employee username and password in LDAP directory server and authenticating against it. As we all know username and password will not change on daily basis. So write operations are really lesser. But we will log into our machine or application on daily basis. So read operation will be enormous. Of course LDAP will handle this enormous read operation like a piece of cake because it's designed for it. Now let's visualize the flow of LDAP authentication for our better understanding. The more crucial and important part of LDAP authentication is LDAP directory server setup. This is the place where we store our employee profile details which includes username and password. The second important part is LDAP client. If you are going to authenticate a computer using credentials stored in LDAP server, then LDAP client has to be set up. In that particular computer. Else if you are going to authenticate a web application with credentials stored in LDAP server, then the server which is hosting the application has to be configured with LDAP client. Once we are ready with LDAP server and client setup, we are good to go with our LDAP authentication. Here the employee will try to log in with his username and password from client computer or a web application which has to be authenticated against the LDAP server. Authentication request will be redirected to LDAP server. Here employee profile is retrieved from LDAP server and employee gets authenticated with credentials provided by them. Based on authentication result, employee may log in or display it with an login failed error message. I hope now you got a brief understanding on LDAP authentication, but there are a whole lot of things that you have to know about LDAP directory service and that needs a full-fledged training with demos. I have created a complete course on LDAP directory services in udemy.com e-learning platform and I am offering it for just $10 for viewers of this video. You can have a look at my preview videos by clicking the link in description of this video. Once the page is loaded, you can scroll down to curriculum to have a look at my preview videos. With this I am concluding my lecture and thank you for watching this video.